Hello, my name is David Clark and uh, I'm 40 years old and I live in Denver, Colorado and I wanted to just take a couple minutes and uh, share my story with you and, and who I am and, and what I've been through. Um, I'm an ultra marathon runner. Um, what that means is I run foot races in distances from anything longer than a marathon, anything longer than 26 miles up to, uh, believe it or not, 100 miles or longer. Um, that's what I do um, for fun, and, and I also have the privilege of being able to coach other athletes and, and share my sport with them. I'm also in the mattress business, uh, as you can probably wonder why I would be uh, standing in a room full of so many mattresses. But uh, that, that's kind of what my life is now. I, I'm, I'm an incredibly happy person. I'm a I live a very rewarding life. I have three amazing children, and uh, you know, from the outside, a lot of people would just think that I, I, I lived a blessed life, that I was charmed and. And, and everything just worked out for me naturally. Um, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. I, I worked hard for everything there is in my life. Every bit of sanity and every bit of pride that I have, I have claimed from, from the gutter. Uh, six years ago, I weighed 320 pounds. It's probably a little hard to believe. Um, and I had been addicted to alcohol for 10 plus years. Uh, I owned a very large business, um, I was in a very stressful environment, and I chose to handle that stress by drinking. That drinking went from something this big to something so big that it, it, it encapsulated every thought and every uh, desire and, and focus that I had. Um, I went from drinking a bottle of scotch a day and waking up every morning to shaking and vomiting and withdrawal. I went from that reality to the reality of running 50, 60, 100 miles a week and, and experiencing mountain trails and, and beautiful scenery. So what happened? What happened is I woke up one morning. I don't know why that morning was any different than, than a thousand before it, but I woke up that morning and I decided I'd had enough. I, I was tired of being 320 pounds. I was tired of being a drunk and I was tired of missing out on life. So I took all my booze and, and the pain pills and everything that was in my house and I, and I dumped it down the toilet. I couldn't think of what else to do, so I went for a run. I wasn't a runner. I, I was never a runner. I ran a little bit uh, when I played baseball, but uh, usually if the coach made us run, it was because we did something wrong. It was a form of punishment. So I, I went out for this run and um, I wasn't very good at it. I, I could only manage to run about 15 seconds or so at a time without having to stop and, and catch my breath. Um, I felt horrible. I was lightheaded. I, I thought I was going to die. So I kept going though. I, I didn't know what else to do. I was so lost that, that this is the only thing that, that I had. I went back and I ran the next day and I ran the next day and a strange thing started to happen. My body started to change and my thinking started to change. My mind became clearer and I was gaining perspective. I figured out that I'd managed to get a little leverage on myself and it's just what I needed. I chose to keep a hold of that leverage and that momentum and protect it with everything I had. So every day became a kind of a, a test. Was this the day that I would let the voices in my head talk me out of my new lifestyle? Or was this the day that I would just put on my shoes and go for another run? By grace, I chose to go for another run, and I did it over and over again. Running for me has become instrumental in my sobriety because it taught me a set of skills, a mindset for tackling something as large as sobriety or weight loss. It showed me how to live in the moment, how even though I feel horrible, if I start thinking about how much distance I have left to cover, I'm going to quit. The only way I can run five miles, four miles, five minutes, a hundred miles, is to stay in the moment and keep moving forward one step at a time. This presents the ultimate struggle of life for everybody. We all go through this as humans and it's right there for us in, in the sport of running. Um, my own life and my own experience with running has brought me every good thing that I have. Um, my version of recovery and sobriety is very different from, from the ones that you hear out there. And they're not any better or worse. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about anything that, that helps someone to get sober. Um, I suggest, if, if I may be so bold as to just suggest something to you, is to choose something positive. 
you know, so many times people have a vision of recovery that includes taking things out of their life. I'm going to take this stimulus, this alcohol, this behavior, and take it away and learn how to live without it. I suggest finding something you like and embracing it. We don't replace one addiction with another. What we do is replace the addiction that we have with a mindset that brings us to other areas that are going to give us achievement. For me, that's running. For you, it might be cycling, it might be art, it might be music. If I could impart this wisdom to you, it would be don't quit on yourself before the miracle can happen. Every day I choose trail or trash. One decision can take me in either direction. I choose to put on my shoes and lace them up and go for a run. I invite you to do the same. Thank you.